What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you the best graphic settings for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. So let's jump right into it. So here we are in the brand new Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Let's check out my graphic settings really quick. So first off, we're going to be looking at display here. I'm on full screen borderless right now because I'm recording a video, so it's easy for me to alt tab out. However, you should be using full screen exclusive here. That'll give you more customization for your display monitor, your screen refresh rate, your display resolution and other stuff like that. But for the sake of this video, I just have it on full screen borderless. So when you do have it on full screen exclusive, your refresh rate is going to be your monitor's refresh rate. Mine is 144, so this is 144 here. My display resolution is 1440p. However, that takes up a lot of frames. So I'm getting a new monitor that is 1080p, 1920 by 1080p. So you wanna set that on 1920 by 1080p if that is your monitor. And then for dynamic resolution here, I have that off. I have aspect ratio set to automatic. V-Sync off, V-Sync menus off, and then I have frame rate limit set to custom here. And when you set that to custom, your gameplay custom frame rate limit is at the max here for me. And then when I'm in the menu, it's at 60, so I don't waste my GPU resources. And when I'm not in the game at all, it's 30 frame rates. So if I'm in a different window or all tabbed out. And then for my display gamma here, it's at 2.2 sRGB. And then for my brightness, I have this on 55, so that's really nice. So I can sort of see a little bit better. And then uh, for constrained mouse to game window, I have that off, focus mode off. And then high dynamic range, HDR, you want that off to save your uh, frames as well. And then for quality here, I'm going with quality presets. I have them at custom here. So my render resolution is at 1920 by 1080. It's not the same as my monitor. You wanna make this the same as your monitor. However, in my case, I don't have a 1080p monitor. I'm using a 1440p monitor, so I'm downscaling it to 75, but you want it to be the same as your monitor, usually set to 100 here. So after render resolution, we have upscaling and sharpening. I have that set to Fidelity FX CAS. This just enhances the sharpness of the image here. And then I have that strength on 75. And then anti-aliasing, I have SMAAT2X, and then the quality for that is low, and then the video memory scale is set to 85. If you're not streaming or anything or recording, you can just set this to the highest, which is 90. And then for details and textures, I have my texture resolution set to low, my filter set to high, my nearby level of detail set to low, distance level of detail set to low, cluster Clutter draw distance set to short. Particle quality set to high. This really doesn't affect uh, VRAM usage, so this is pretty good. And then particle quality level low. Bullets and impacts. I have this on because I like to see the bullet impact. And then shader quality set to low. Tessellation off. Terrain memory is set to max here. On demand texture streaming is off. This wastes a lot of uh, frames, so we want to take that off quality right here is low deferred physics quality is off water cost caustics we're just having that off because there's not that many maps with water on them shadow map resolution set to low screen space shadows off spot shadow quality low spot cache low particle lighting low ambient occlusion off screen space reflections off static reflection quality high weather grid volumes off nvidia reflex low latency i have that on you can do on boost if you have a stronger cpu but i just have it on because my cpu is not that strong depth of field is off so you don't zoom in all the way while uh you're adsing world motion blur we turn that off so we don't get nauseous weapon motion blur same thing we turn that off and we set the film grain to zero and then for view here I have my FOV set to 120. This eats up more frames, but you got to have it if you want to see uh, the entire screen. And then ADS field of view is affected. So this is uh, basically aiming down sight zooms to a value closer to the field of view setting. So instead of having it independent where it zooms in all the way, affected just makes it uh, not zoom in all the way. Weapon field of view is default. Third person field of view. I haven't even tried third person yet, but I have that on max. And then uh, vehicles field of view is just default. First person camera movement, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50%, 50
third person ADS and then helmet camera or you can just go with the game perspective whichever you prefer it doesn't really matter but these are the settings I'm using right now um, I'm using a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Ti and uh, if I set my display resolution to 1920 by 1080 I'm running at around 140 frames but since I don't have a 1080p monitor I'm just using this uh, 1440p monitor for now and I'm running at around 100 frames which is pretty good for multiplayer but once I get my new computer I'm going to be running a lot better with uh, these exact same settings for the most part and uh, I'll have higher frames but for now that's the video I hope you guys are enjoying Modern Warfare 2 thanks for watching and uh, make sure to like subscribe and leave a comment peace